As we have hit modernization, people have realized the necessity of taking care of nature. Nowadays, most of us want to be kind to the earth. The recent pandemic and global catastrophe like the glaciers melting is making us much more conscious. So most of us are trying to return to methods that are eco-friendly and do not harm to the climate. That's why many people stopped using synthetic chemicals and fabric dyes. They're opting for many eco-friendly ways and one of the easiest and efficient ways to dye clothes is the eco-print. Trendy Attire is a group of fashionistas who follow the fashion world, ongoing trends, and research the products based on their quality, style, and user feedback. We try to make videos to help you choose the right product with user preferences, fashion tips, and tricks in mind. Along with style and trend, we also consider your comfort as our top priority and create a proper shopping list for your wardrobe where you can find all fashion staples with style ideas on one plate. Ecoprint is basically a technique where the plants, leaves, and flowers create their shapes, color, and mark on the fabric. When the dye of the plant releases, they create a print in the shape of a leaf or flower used. That's how the prints are developed. Before ecoprinting, people used the term nature printing or botanical printing. Though there is no exact evidence of when people came up with the idea of this type of printing, but the very first evidence of botanical print was from the Middle Ages in ancient Greece. They used a method to classify the plants. During the Renaissance, a print of the sage leaf appeared in the manuscript of Leonardo da Vinci. The manuscript was about the methods of botanical printing. Later, people started to develop their own manuals according to their needs, like the perfumers. They used to develop it for identifying the plants. The modern eco-printing process started 25 years ago. It was developed by India Flint. The process allows a plant to transfer dye to various materials like fabric, paper, clay, and even stone. Today, this process has become famous among many craftsmen as it's eco-friendly and easy to use rather than other processes. Now let's have a look at the process of how to eco-print on fabric with flowers. So there are two kinds of processes of eco-printing the pounding process and the bundling process. In this video, we will see the pounding process of EcoPrint. The pounding process is an easier process than the bundling. Now you need to follow several steps for a proper EcoPrint. The first step is to scour your clothes. You need to scour your clothes so that the dye can easily process. The cloth also needs to be clean with no chemical substances in it. For scouring, you need 2 teaspoons of soda and 100 grams of fiber. In cold water, add soda and then add boiling water. Add the fabric to that boiling water. After some time, rinse the fabric and then let the fabric dry. Now after scouring, you need to mordan the fabric to ensure that the dye gets the fibrancy you desire. In this video, we will be showing more denting using alum. For more denting your fabric, you will need 5 grams of soda ash, 15 grams of alum, and 1 liter of water. You need to dissolve the soda ash and alum in hot water. Add the mixture of boiling soda ash and alum with plain water. Then add your scoured fabric to the water and wait for 8 hours. Finally, let the fabric dry again, pounding flowers on the fabric. One cardboard, fabric, one hammer or mallet, flowers, leaves, scotch tape. Over the cardboard, lay the fabric you more dented and then arrange the flowers and leaves according to your desire. Tape down the flowers with scotch tape and secure everything. Finally. Use a mallet or a small hammer and pound the flowers and leaves. After you get your desired design, remove the petals. Now dry the pigment on the fabric under the sun. Sometimes even after all the steps, the color seems to fade out to stop. To fix the color, soak the fabric in alum water for a few minutes. In this way, you will get a vibrant color and the color will be much more durable. 
eco-printing is sustainable and environmentally friendly. Moreover, it's a fun project to try at home. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and share it with your friends if you found this video useful. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.